Hello, my name is Rachel Fisher, and we are here today with Bionic Buzz on the red carpet. Sue Wong is not only a fashion designer known for designing celebrities such as Anne Hathaway, Tyra Banks, several models, and also she is, as a designer, a designer of houses as well. We are celebrating her Moroccan luxury mansion today, and we'll be featuring actually several red carpet guests and also musical guests. Stay tuned for more. And we are here with Sue Wong, artist, fashion designer known for dressing Anne Hathaway among Tyra Banks and several others and you actually yourself were the designer for the house. Uh, yes, uh, this is really my second commercial design for um, home and uh, lifestyle and um, I love Los Feliz, it's really old golden Hollywood and I brought a little bit of a Moroccan flavor, I would say a lot of Moroccan flavor to this new McMansion that I converted into this exotic um, uh, Moroccan fantasy. Amazing. And what inspired you to use that Moroccan flair? I've always had a, uh, you know, uh, an affinity towards Moroccan style. I uh, have the iconic, uh, I own the iconic cedars, as you know. And uh, so th that is a very famous home built in the 1920s. And uh, Jimi Hendrix lived there amongst Lou Reed and the Velvet Underground, um, Jim Morrison, Bob Dylan, so many famous uh, people. And uh, so I designed the Jimi Hendrix suite about 19 years ago without ever having set foot in Morocco. And that is everybody's most favorite room. So I, I've decided to go full scale and um, you know visit Morocco for the third time and spent almost a month there. And so I decided to really make this home uh, just a whole Moroccan statement. Amazing, and it's incredible that you actually got to travel and use those influences from Morocco itself. Yes, absolutely. I think traveling really widens our horizons and you know, it's just really such a great thing to expand everything because one thing about me is that I'm very versatile, you know. I, I have a good understanding of style from you know modern minimalism, modern minimalism to mid-century to um, so many d different styles: vintage, Moroccan, Indian, tropical. <laughs> I love it all. <laughs> well, amazing! And one more question for you. So, starting as you know, creating your company in fashion design and designing yourself, what is it like for you to move from fashion to now real estate? Uh, well, I wouldn't call it real estate. That's pretty tacky. You know? <laughs> we'll call it design. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, but basically I'm an artist. Um, I don't just identify as a fashion designer, even though that was my work for 47 years. Um, and I'm very, I was very good at it. And I was uh, critically acclaimed and successfully uh, commercially acclaimed. So um, I just, it was a very seamless transa uh, transition. I'm not doing it, you know, uh, as a serious thing. This is really just a joy and a hobby for me. Oh, well, that's beautiful and very inspiring to aspiring artists out there. Yes, yes. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much, Sue. <laughs> here with Leon Hendricks, musician and American painter. So tell us, what does it mean for you to be here tonight? I love Sue. She's she's a magical person, you know. She's like a the good witch in the woods, you know. <laughs> I love it. And as an artist yourself, what do you think about the house? I love it. Um, of course, she's always doing this kind of um, fabulous. Mm, look, I had to wear my my Oriental like silk. <laughs> Beautiful piece. <laughs> I was going to just wear regular rock and roll stuff, but then Sue said, it's like an Oriental, you know, stuff. But anyway, I love her. We're also here with Leon and also Josh Bassett. So tonight they're actually performing for name? the event. I'm Rachel. Rachel, hello. <laughs> We're happy to be here with you guys. Amazing. And tonight, give us a little bit of a sneak preview of the performance. What are we doing? What's well, the vibe? Well, they told us to turn down. They're trying to turn us down, but we don't know how to do that. Rock and roll is a little bit loud, so we're going to keep it loud. We're going to play a few of Leon Hendrix's songs, and we're going to play a few of his brother Jimi Hendrix's songs. Yeah, and we're going to have it, invite everybody up to come play with us, like uh, uh, the violinist uh, Scarlett and uh, Scott Page. He's going to play saxophone. You know, it's going to be awesome. Amazing. Well, rock on, guys, and All have right, a great performance you. tonight. Thank, thank you. So you. And we are here with Dustin Quick, actress and model, and Medi M, DJ, known musician. What does it mean for you guys to be here tonight? 
Oh, we're so excited. This is the, the party of the year, and uh, we love Sue, and she's really transformed this place. I, I got a sneak preview, so uh, she really brought the beauty, magic, and transformation, and we're excited to be a part of it. So, um, Also, uh, we are in one of Bruce Willis's last films, and it's coming out next month, and because he's not able to do a premiere, uh, because he's retired, uh, we're kind of looking at this as a celebration of uh, the good that we've all done uh, during this pandemic. We got creative. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And you've actually worked with Sue yourself as a model. So tell us more about your beautiful dress tonight and what that has been like to actually work with Sue and her experience. She is kind of like a, I feel like she's a, almost a writer uh, with her designs. And so like with this house, she took it you know, from a regular kind of you know, McMansion is what they might call it, in a big open space. But she took this canvas and she created a Moroccan palace. And so I feel like with this dress, she has kind of that Moroccan vibe, you know, it's like, a, it's layered, so you've got like a, you know, like a red satin, but then with the, the black netting and beading, which she's really known for, uh, it takes you to a different era, where, you know, they, they in like Art Deco times, and uh, just basically an, an era where people really got dressed up, and they, they almost like decorated their, themselves as you might do a house. Definitely. And thank you so much for being here tonight, Dustin, and many M as well. We appreciate thank it. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Beautiful. So uh, remember, our movie is going to be out uh, March 31st. Oh, yes. It's, it's called Assassin. Uh, Bruce Willis in it. I am in it. Dustin's in it. So we are very excited for that movie coming out. Excellent. Stay tuned for that. And you know, where can audiences find you guys? Social media? Uh, yes. Uh, Medium on Facebook, medi.em, uh, Instagram. And, and Dustin Quick at Facebook, as well as Instagram, at Dustin Quick. Stay tuned for the premiere in March. And we are here with Lisa Pliner, one of actually Sue Wong's models. Yes, I mean, it's been a while. We, you know, I would say Sue is much better friends with my husband more back in the day because even though we're both designers, he's really the iconic legend. So, um, it's, you know, we drove, actually drove in from the desert. So it was a little rough, but we made it. So, I mean, what an exciting night. All these beautiful people and the fashion and just really looking forward to saying hi to everyone and just having a good time and just catching up with our good friend Sue. She's so beautiful and so spiritual and she just has such life that, you know, I just can't wait to experience and see what she's done. So oh, definitely, and thank you so much for being here too. I'm sure Sue is excited to see you. Yes, I can't wait. It's been a while. I've had so many different looks. So come here, honey. Hello, this is Donald Pliner as well, shoe designer. Say Donald J. Pliner. We are here with also Donald J. Pliner as well. <laughs> so what does it mean for you to be here tonight, Donald? Um, it's fabulous. It's you know because we go back. Sue and myself a long time and it's just incredible it's a fabulous I it's just nice to be in the spotlight here and I could not ask for a better crowd and better admiration to be like this and to see a smile on your face and to see smiles on everybody else's face and as she said how much more to have the weather to com to compete against this is unbelievable and it's even funnier, we now live in the desert. 52 years living in LA, I always thought Palm Springs was Palm Beach. And I was surprised, but today and yesterday on the weather report in the desert, rain and snow. You don't hear that word too often, especially in the desert. No, you don't. So tell us, have you excited to see the house tonight? It's very much so, I mean, a lot of my influences, you can see, is all very Marrakesh and everything. And probably the two most favorite places in the world that I travel to is Marrakesh and Paris, are my two favorite places in the world. And do they inspire your designs? Tremendously. If you came to our house, you'd understand. In my original house in Miami, we lived in a Moroccan castle. So. I bet it's definitely a lot of reminiscing being here in Sue's beautiful house. Reminiscing to being people. Yes, and also the Moroccan influence in the design as well. Yeah, I'm waiting anxiously. I mean, I know our house has been photographed many times because of the Moroccan influences. But, you know, Morocco is mystic and it's magical in the colors and everything like this. So, waiting anxiously. I'm very excited that I would 
that I'm being <laughs> spending time here tonight with and just watching your smile as well. Thank you. We're glad you're here and have a beautiful rest of your night and enjoy. Thank you very much. Oh, should I tell you something funny? Oh, uh, sure. Go ahead. So we sold our, I sold my name. And so and the reason we do skulls, I do a lot of skulls, is because we adopted a little girl. And when she was like 12 months old, we took her to the Children's Museum in Miami. And children learn to speak because of one another. And it's important. So a lot of my shoes, and I would like to sell me those skulls. But now because I lost my name, see my shoes? They have sunglasses on because they're incognito. I love them. So, they really compliment your outfit as well. well it's sort of Moroccan in its influence. No, that's one of my, as I said, it's, Paris and Morocco is my, America is my two favorite places in the world. And Bombay, etc. I'm very fortunate I get a chance to travel all the time. Definitely. And it's great that you actually are able to influence and bring a lot of your travels and memories there through your own designs. Yes. You know, I mean, I'm in the process of writing a book right now, and it started from childhood to present, and I never realized who Donald Pino was. In fact, I once had to go to Italy and accept an award from the Italian government. I was the largest producer of shoes to American market over a million per year, and I had no idea who I was or anything. Wow, and that's amazing. So when is this book going to come out? I'm sorry, what? When is the book going to come out? It's hopefully uh, sometime this year, and I hope to make a manuscript out of it at the same time. I mean, I had two stores on, in Beverly, I opened my first store in Beverly Hills in 67, and I had the two stores on Rodeo and one on Camden, and never had any idea who I was or anything. And look where you are now. Are well, what a story! Right. To, what a story to tell! And I'm so excited you know, to is, stay um, tuned for yeah. that. <laughs> I am shocked reading and going through it all. And just a year ago, I had triple brain surgery, and you know, and my I was rushed to the trauma hospital, and my wife was told to make funeral arrangements, and here I am. And I'm so grateful as well, and I'm sure your family is blessed that you are still here and strong. And blessed to have such a wife who did, has done so much for me. In fact, just yesterday, I don't mean to go in long, I was doing something in, the, in our house where we were remodeling, and all of a sudden I thought that less than a year ago, I was walking, I was in a wheelchair for a month. You can't stop me, I'll tell you. Let's go, let's go. We are so glad that you were standing here today, healthy, strong, and okay. we will stay tuned. It's Donald with the J. With the J. Okay. <laughs> we'll stay tuned for that, and congratulations. Thank you. And we are with Vincent DePaul, actor. So, Vincent, how are you feeling tonight? Uh, this is so amazing. It's 2023, and Sue has been such <laughs> an energy for the new year, and I'm so pleased to celebrate her new beautiful home. Um, today I look around and I see wonderful people that I miss and love and now I get to see Lisa Pliner, Donald Pliner, um, my dear friend Ron Moss and his beautiful wife Devin. I, I just like that today into this evening is such a celebration because we've all been kind of separated and now we're together. Oh, amazing. And how did you actually meet Sue? Uh, many, many years ago uh, here in Los Angeles and uh, big, big... Um, uh, kind of uh, heart that she has and she is such not only a great fashion designer but also all of her interiors are so well done and and are appointed so magnificently yeah definitely and as an actor we know that you're busy working yes i uh, just very happy the welder has just been released today the welder directed by david liz uh, Christmas Couples Retreat will be coming out soon and just like a slate of film I just came back from the Berlin Film Festival and this has been wonderful and there is Lisa and Donald Pliner Lisa and Donald I'm so happy to see them they bring me joy uh, friends from South Florida for so many years so this is a great thing Amazing! so glad you're here thank and looking you. forward to your TV series debuting thank you thank you everyone wishing you the very best peace thank you
Awesome. And we are here with both Ron Moss and Devin Vasquez. So what does it mean to you both to be here tonight? Oh, well, Sue's a dear friend, and we've watched her go from fashion designer to home designer. And she's got a flair for it. I mean, this Moroccan... Is, it, it's a masterpiece. It's, have you seen it? Have, yes. How beautiful. I'm excited for you all to go in. Yes. yes. Sue's one of our most creative, true artist friends that has such a passion for creating, obviously, clothes, but now to transfer it to interior designing is wonderful. It's a new, she's reinventing herself as an artist, and I, I approve. It, it's all about beauty and transformation, which is her signature brand so she's doing it with homes and you can see this just the beginning for her because this is the second one we've seen so we're looking forward to the next one what will it be <laughs> definitely and you both are artists and actors and musicians yourself so what does it mean to you to be inspired by different things in art inspiration comes from odd places in life so I try to take it all in and give it my spin in one way. But uh, We try that, to put energy into what we love and what we're passionate about. And that's what Sue does. And I think that's what most people should do because then you're, we'd have a happier planet. Promote, promote positivity. Mm -hmm. We all need Good right Good energy now. and love. Oh, I absolutely love that. <laughs> How beautiful. And where can we find you guys on social media? Any upcoming projects we should stay tuned for? Uh, well. Let's do Ron Moss. Ron's with two N's, so people know. RonMoss.com. And uh, Devron. 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 D E V R O N N. Devron.com. You can find everything on us there. Well, have a beautiful rest of your night. I'm excited for you both to see the house and the musical guests. Thank you. And we are here with well-known activist Sacha Stone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Happy to see you. What does it mean for you to be here and supporting Sue and her art? Well, that, that's an easy one for me. She's my best friend. You know, I had to be here to support her. She's an icon. Um, she's a fighter. She's a survivor. Um, she's an archetype in our, in our time. Um, she's also a, a troubleshooter, and she's somebody who's a, a closet revolutionary. And um, yeah, we, we, stand, we stand with this woman, th thick and thin, as she's done with us. Amazing. How did you meet Sue? Uh, that's a long story. Oh. A long story. I can't tell you that one. Not for today, guys. <laughs> but happy to be here nonetheless. Oh, amazing. And tell us, I mean, how does art kind of influence the work that you do? I'm an artist myself. I'm now a frontline activist and a citizen diplomat. And I'm a, a professional shit stirrer in that sense. But art is very much a part of revolution and revelation. So that, that's the role I play. How beautiful. Well, have a great night Thank and you. enjoy the house. Happy to meet you. And we are here with actress Kate Linder from The Young and the Restless. So tell us, what does it mean for you to be here tonight supporting Sue? Well, I'm a big fan of hers. I have been for a long time. I've worn her designs for years. In fact, this, this is one of them. And it goes with another dress. With a dress. And so I could, inter that's what's great about her things, is that you can interchange them and put things with other things. And it works. And... Uh, so, and she's so exceptionally talented, and I can't wait to see what she's done with um, this. And now she's designing interior designs and all kinds of things. She's she's incredible and a very good person. And I'm sure she's very grateful that you're here to support her and her journey. And so tell us, I mean, I know you're always busy, so what's going on in your life, and what are you currently working on? Well, um, actually, I just celebrated my 40th anniversary of The Young and the Restless, and the 50th anniversary of the show is next month. So we're doing all kinds of things with that. And then I'm in a film uh, with Kate Hudson and Don Johnson and Michael Shannon that's being released March 3rd. It's called A Little White Lies. And so I'm very, the trailer's out, and I'm very excited about that. So that's, that's a good thing. And I do a tease in Canada for March of Dimes Canada. And we've had to postpone several because of the pandemic. But we're finally doing it <laughs> June 4th. So we have bringing up uh, people from Young and the Restless, Christian LeBlanc from the show co-hosts it with me. So we're going to raise money for them. And it's going to be great. 
Incredible. Well, stay tuned for that. And your role in the feature coming out. Can you tell us more about your role? Oh, I play the college president, and uh, it it's it's a great film. Uh, Michael Marin wrote it, and uh, I it, it's a comedy, and I I it's very different from my character Esther. So I love doing it, and it was really interesting because. We started filming it right before the pan pandemic, and then I was actually in the bank. Uh, I was had one more day left of shooting. I was in the bank that day. I ran into some of the crew, and they said, "Hey, Kate, we're going for coffee tomorrow. What do you want?" I went, "Really? Yeah. Okay." So I gave them my order. I never saw them again <laughs> because the film, everything shut down. But but we were able to finish the film and now it's out. So I, I'm very, very excited. Oh, how exciting, thank you for sharing with <laughs> us. Stay tuned for that and thank you so much. Okay. And we are here with Jacqueline Murphy, award-winning actress and also she did mention that a lot of Sousa Zions are featured in her newest movie. Yes, uh, I did a film called The Admired, short film and Sue had given me 30 beautiful gowns because my film was about old Hollywood. Fast forward, uh, she won three costume designer awards and I won 50 awards on the film festival circuit, Rachel. And The Admired is about a frustrated LA actress who makes a deal with the devil to time travel back to 1940s old Hollywood. So tonight is fun and special because I adore Sue and her gowns just transformed all the actresses on set. And I'm also currently working on a new TV show called Pepito's America. And we, I play Miriam Price, a councilwoman running for LA mayor. And we just shot last week with the iconic Tommy Chong and his beautiful wife, Shelby Chong, who play my financial donors as I run for mayor in Carlos Marino Jr.'s Pepito's America. He and we are here with also Sandra Santiago, another actress as well. Hi, thank you for inviting me to Sue Wong's uh, wonderful red carpet. Amazing. And what are you currently working on? Uh, we are working together in a, in a TV show called Pepito's America. And I'm Jacqueline <laughs> Murphy, as I mentioned, and I'm playing Miriam Price. I'm a councilwoman running for mayor. And uh, we just shot scenes with Tommy Chung and Shelby Chung last week through my financial donors. But more excitingly is I adore Sandra, and oh, she has you. a part on the show as you tell Molly. Them the part. Molly, we are going to be shooting next month in uh, Pepitas America, and uh, yes, I'm so happy to work with uh, Jacqueline. We end up like uh, finding out that we are working in this project. I was like, are you working in this project? Yes, She's me waiting too. to tell you her name on Pepitos America is Molly Guacamole. Molly Guacamole. Wow. I mean, that's a, that's that's a, a memorable <laughs> character name. So yes. thank you to creator Carlos Marino Jr. for creating yes. Pepitos America and an opportunity for diverse people to work on such a great show. And just one little tidbit. Sandra, Sue, and I were in Sundance together. Yes. So we yes. had a, a lovely time there, and I guess it's so nice to just keep seeing people that you know, like, and love. So there you go. Yes, and, and I'm coming here and seeing Sue Wong's design. There you oh go. my God, they're beautiful, gorgeous, and the models and the makeup and the the colors, the the all the oh, and the things, the flowers and the hair, the headpieces, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and we thank you, we thank you both for being so here tonight. We love you. Uh, we love, love you too. Oh, thank, thank you, Rachel. <laughs> And we are here with Grace Kaufman, known for her role in Man with the Plan. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, I'm so excited. This is such a fun event, and I'm just so pumped to get inside and check it out. Definitely, and what inspired you to act and get into what you're doing now? Um, I started off really loving theater as a kid. I did a lot of musical theater. Um, both my parents are actors, kind of like runs in the family, I guess you could say. So yeah, from a pretty early age I was hooked, and then I got into film and TV, and the rest is history. It's been like a good, wow, like 13 years now of acting, which is crazy, yeah, but yeah. Crazy to imagine. And what is it like for you to work with the legendary Joey Tribbiani and Matt LeBlanc? Oh my god, so fun. It was just a total joy getting to know Matt and getting to work with him. And I learned so much stuff from him. And 
It was just like a like a party every week. We got to do it in front of an audience, and like it was just a total joy, a pleasure to, to work with him, and he's just hilarious and a great guy. <laughs> Amazing. Well, glad to hear, and enjoy the house tonight. Enjoy the live music. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'll see you in there, right? Are you going to be enjoying it? I'll be in there as well. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> We're going to party. It'll be great. We are here with Patrick McCollum peace and spiritual counselor. So tell us, Patrick, what does it mean for you to be here tonight supporting Sue? Well, Sue is one of my dearest friends and we're both artists together. And she's been working on this house. When she first started on it, she was telling me about what she was gonna do and on her way to Morocco. And so couldn't wait to see this amazing place. And I've watched through pictures step by step as I'm traveling around the world, what she's been doing and I can't wait. Oh, amazing. And how has it been for you as an artist yourself and your journey? How has art inspired what you do? Well, it defines a lot. I'm, I'm an artist, but I'm also an international peacemaker. I currently have the largest uh, project to save the Amazon in the world, and uh, I'm leaving from here to South America. Wow. Well, we commend you for that as well and your mission. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we are here with rock and roll Steve Crook. So tell us, what does it mean for you to be here tonight? Oh, I'm just here having a lot of fun. Very interested to see this new um, art home that's going to be uh, quite the sensation. <laughs> just like everything that Sue does, really. Yeah. Amazing. And, and as an artist yourself, what inspires you and your music? Uh, I like to write uh, music about uh, honesty, love, and uh, being kind to each other, you know. <laughs> Definitely. And what does that mean to audiences and what you deliver? Um, I like to, to, to resonate them with, uh, you know, bringing back some of the feeling of the 70s. Uh, you know, bringing back some of that give peace a chance. So, yeah. So we're still alive and kicking, you know. <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And anything we can look forward to, audiences keep in mind for? Yes, sure. I have a show on the uh, 18th of March at Trip here in Santa Monica. And uh, I've just released a commercial for Sennheiser with uh, Dee Snyder from uh, Twisted Sister. So look out for that one. Yeah. We'll keep an eye out that for tonight. Okay. Thank you so much. And thanks right. for coming tonight. Yeah. Take care and may your God bless you. Thank you. And we are here with Larry Kazanoff, known for Threshold Entertainment Company and also Mortal Kombat and Terminator 2. Many amazing works. Thanks for being here tonight, Larry. Yeah, my pleasure. I never miss fun. <laughs> And what does it mean for you to be here tonight to support Sue and see her beautiful artwork? Well, look, you've got you've got friends, beauty, and fun. What could be worse? I mean, what I'm sorry, what could be better? It's great. Exactly. And I mean, as an artist yourself and a creator, what inspires and influences you in your work? Um, you know, I have a book coming out this year called A Touch of the Madness, and that's what inspires me. What inspires me is to take chances and do wild, crazy things, and just do whatever you think of and push the limits of innovation. That's what I really like to do. I love that. And tell us more about your book. What can you share with us? It's a, it's, it comes out later this year, and it's about to be really innovative and creative in life and in work, you have to be a little bit crazy. Oh, I love it. How inspiring to young audiences That's ready to... I hope. That's what I hope. That's what I hope. That's what I hope. Let's see. And then yesterday, um, we announced a new company called Supergiant Studios. With uh, We're doing a promotion with the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, where you can come to LA, and we can put you in a short film starring a famous celebrity. So now anyone who wants to, we can facilitate it so they walk up in a short film with a celebrity. So if you want to be famous and be in a film with a celebrity, call us. Super Giant Studios. <laughs> Supergiantstudios.net. Yeah, yeah, see, he said he would. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Amazing. And how does that work? What didn't kind of influence the creation of Super John Studios? Uh, you know, I, I invested in a company that, that made short films for aspiring actors. And we thought, you know, how are we going to distinguish them? Because there's so many. So we hit on this. <laughs> well, amazing. You struck gold with this. We're excited. I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Well, thanks for being here later tonight. My pleasure. Great seeing you. Take care. And we are here with Scott Daly, Ernie Carswell, and Kendra Wilkinson, the people behind today's house and today's vision. Yeah, this is Sue's vision. It is quite an amazing transformation from what it formerly was, but through Sue's artistry, this has transported us to the nation of Morocco. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really an honor to work with somebody who has left such a legacy in her own industry. And it's really a piece of art, this home. And you could tell it has a Sue Wong staple. Uh, so oh, we're yeah. excited to represent it. I just can't, I would love to wear one of her headdresses, you know. I'm sorry, it won't fit on my head. I think you would look really good in one. But yeah. <laughs> 
imagine. And so what are you both expecting tonight and how tonight will go? Well, we're very excited about all the people from the entertainment community and the artist community and the fashion industry that are showing up for Sue and for this beautiful home that she's imagined and now has turned into reality. And it truly is something we're going to watch their reactions. We're already hearing the comments back about wow, wow. And it is definitely a wow to see what she's done here. I'm looking looking forward to the drinks, but uh, other than that, you know, the house obviously can't wait to see everyone's reaction because it's such a spectacular home, and the three of us are so excited to be here and representing it. Amazing. We're proud to represent it. We are. We are. Well, I'm so glad that you guys are here and you're doing this. And you know what? Have a great night and meet some great people. And hopefully, this house, fingers crossed, will sell. <laughs> Thank you. Thank That's you. what we want.